We picked acorns up off the ground, dried them, cracked them, shelled them, ground them, and leached them all to get edible acorn flour. So now it is time to make acorn bread, starting by preheating our ovens to 350 degrees. The recipe we developed is an acorn persimmon sweet bread and yields a loaf that fits an eight and a half by four and a half inch baking pan. And no, we're not talking about making an acorn sourdough bread, which is usually 1 16th acorn flour. No, in this recipe, acorns take the center stage. As the oven is preheating, we'll work on preparing our wet ingredients. The first ingredient we need is one cup of pureed persimmon. I'm using foraged native persimmons, but if you don't have that, you can use the Fuyu variety from the grocery store. Or if that's not available, you can substitute for banana or pumpkin puree. To puree the Fuyu persimmons, first peel them, then cut them into chunks and blend until smooth. Now add them to the mixing bowl. Next, crack three eggs into the bowl and whisk them thoroughly with the persimmon puree. Once the eggs have been whisked, add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and two to four tablespoons of maple syrup. You can add more or less maple syrup depending on how sweet you'd like it. We added three tablespoons and it was mildly sweet. Whisk once more to completely mix the wet ingredients. With that, we are ready to prepare the dry ingredients. And here is where the star of the show comes in. Acorn flour. If you don't have any acorn flour, don't worry. We're gonna talk about that a little later. Pour one and a half cups of acorn flour into a new clean mixing bowl. Then we're adding one half cup of rice flour, which is lower in protein and helps to reduce gumminess in the bread. Then our spices, one tablespoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of both allspice and nutmeg. Next comes one teaspoon of baking soda, optionally a half teaspoon of xanthan gum, which helps to provide structure and stretch to this gluten-free bread. Yes, this is a gluten-free bread, by the way. And one fourth teaspoon of both salt and baking powder. Thoroughly mix all the dry ingredients together. Now it's time to incorporate them with the wet ingredients. Pour them in small increments while whisking continuously to ensure that everything gets mixed evenly. You'll notice the batter start to thicken considerably, perhaps more than other batter breads you've done, but don't worry, this is expected. By the way, we made a printable recipe card that you can download for free. Get out your eight and a half by four and a half inch baking pan and coat with a neutral oil to prevent sticking. A piece of parchment paper can be added for easy removal later on. Pour in the entire mix and take care to spread it out evenly across the whole pan. With your oven preheated, place the pan inside and set a timer for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, test the bread with a knife to ensure doneness. If after inserting, it removes cleanly, it is done. All right, and here is our finished product. It looks amazing. And if we try it, yes, it's delicious. But there is something else to it that I think is more important. We started with acorns off the ground and through the work of our own two hands, we now have this bread right here to show for it. It feels so empowering and that is what wild food is all about. You need this acorn bread in your life, but in order to do that, you're going to need some acorns, which is why you have to check out this video right here.